Welcome back, Towners. Today we're going to be making a cauliflower rice breakfast crumble. Let's get it. Alright guys, to start off this recipe, we have two pans here. Uh, we're going to be doing some dual action cooking here. Uh, we added in some olive oil to both of our pans, heated them up over a medium high heat. And to the pan on the left, we went ahead and added in some cauliflower rice to that. Um, I personally didn't have any cauliflower rice to start off this recipe, but I did have some bags of frozen uh, cauliflower florets. So I just went ahead and took the cauliflower florets and put them into the blender and uh, pulsed them up in batches to break down the cauliflower. Um, it, it, using the blender, you may not get all small, perfect uniform pieces. Some of them may be larger or smaller than the others because uh, it, it did turn some of it to a dust powder at the bottom, but it's perfectly fine. Um, if you have a food processor, you can definitely use that and it'll break everything down up into um, uniform pieces. But um, if you have cauliflower rice, just go ahead and use that and you won't have to worry about any of that. But just heads up, if you don't have any, if you don't have any uh, cauliflower rice, just use the blender to shred up as frozen or just use your uh, cheese grater and you can use that to break down the cauliflower also. But to the pan on the right, we went ahead and added in a pound of hamburger meat and basically broke that up into crumbles. We seasoned that with some salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder and once everything was browned up uh, we went ahead and transferred the cauliflower rice uh, over to the pan with the hamburger meat that basically took about five minutes to do that uh, i just wanted to get some nice color on the cauliflower rice and to soften that up um, i could have did this all in one pan but um, i just felt like doing it in two to speed up the cooking time it just took a lot longer cooking one thing taking it out put the next thing in taking it out and just transferring everything all together but so once the uh, cauliflower rice and hamburger meat is all mixed together and browned up uh, to the pan, we added in some olive oil and some heavy whipping cream. And then we added in three eggs to that and scrambled up those eggs. We seasoned that up with some salt and pepper. And once those eggs are scrambled, we went ahead and combined that to our hamburger meat and cauliflower mixture as well. Once everything was all combined into one pan, we went ahead and added our last few ingredients. We added in some handfuls of baby spinach as well as some mozzarella cheese and went ahead and mixed all that together. Uh, once we got our uh, spinach, spinach leaves mixed up and wilted and it gave it a taste test, I felt like I needed some additional pepper to that. So added that to it. Go ahead and season it and taste it as you like. If you need some more salt and pepper or onion powder, go ahead and do that at the time. Once everything is all mixed together uh, and got a nice good crust on the bottom of that pan, we went ahead and transferred that over to a bowl and we're good to go at this point. Here is our final product of our breakfast crumble. Um, everything came out nice on this dish. Uh, the cauliflower, hamburger meat, spinach, eggs, cheese, everything mixed together well. Um, we went ahead and uh, topped that off with some of our homies, uh, chopped up some jalapenos, fresh jalapenos, and put those over top. Um, if you like, you can definitely go ahead and chop the jalapenos up, or if you want some additional spice to it, you can chop the jalapenos up and cook that through uh, with the hamburger meat or with the cauliflower rice while it's cooking. Um, or you can just use some crushed red pepper flakes uh, to it. Um, I feel like sometimes the I like, the, I like the jalapenos fresh. Sometimes I feel like they're not as hot or not as spicy once I brown them up. Uh, but sometimes, to, to just to me personally, well, just cooking them, it to me dulls the flavor of the heat. Sometimes I just want all that heat on it. <laughs> but here we are, just giving it a taste test of it. Uh, you see we got a nice little cheese pull there from the cheese that we added to it. Uh, the, 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 the this, this, this mixture worked well together. Um, you can use whatever type of meat that you like. If you don't want hamburger meat, you can definitely try it with uh, ground turkey or uh, uh, cooked chicken, chicken breast, uh, ground sausage, or even breakfast sausage. I think breakfast sausage would work well also on this. But um, 
I'll definitely uh, be making this dish again. Um, trying out different veggies that also add to it to the uh, breakfast scramble. This dish also kind of reminds me of, um, I don't know if you've ever had uh, like a uh, breakfast bowl where they have like the uh, grits on the bottom of the bowl and then you top that off with like a sausage patty or um, a chopped up sausage patty and then put the scrambled eggs on top and then top that off with cheese and basically just mix everything all together. Um, that's kind of what this dish definitely reminds me of, but it was just using cauliflower rice uh, as the base for that. Uh, but um, if anyone has any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy. And please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey guys, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. All menu items are listed in the description box. And thank you guys for watching.